<laughs> what? Yeah. We got one back from last year. The same one that was detected off Martha's Vineyard earlier in the month appears to be back. Nice. Where it was tagged last year. One of the things that people don't realize about the New England Aquarium and more specifically the Anderson Cabot Center for Ocean Life is that we are not just a place that you go visit to see live animals. The Fishery Science and Emerging Technologies Program is a program that uses modern and sophisticated technologies and approaches that are first and foremost devoted to working closely with industry that allows us to be out there, boots on the ground, addressing the most pressing questions here in New England and beyond. Every day, every year in the recreational fishery, tons of fish are being thrown back. So it's really important that we understand how many of the fish that we throw back actually survive. And we're hoping that at the end of the study, um, we can make very specific recommendations to anglers to say, you know, you should use this and not that. And that is... Nice headache. 18. Yeah, I just, it's gonna be incoming tide. We're probably gonna sit just like that channel marker. So probably I'd say, kind of nose her up into here. Yep. It's really nice to be able to do important research that is aligned well with the goals of the FSET program right in our backyard. A big part of the study is to figure out if the animals that we're seeing on a given year are coming back and using this area year after year. And if they are, that just means that the area is a really important area that they're seeking out on an annual basis uh, as part of a really, really long distance migration. What we do with our accelerometer tags, we can actually attach those tags to the sharks and turn the shark loose and it will record every move the shark makes and then it will pop up off the shark and then we'll go out and get it. This project represents a really good opportunity for teens in a program called the Live Blue Ambassador Program here at the aquarium to be directly involved in center research. Having these kids out there and showing them that we have sand tiger sharks in our backyard it really bodes well for the future of these sharks um, because these are the future stores of our ocean. You can't really find a more unique experience because it's, it's what the actual research is. We're going out into the field, we're seeing how marine science is conducted. We're doing things that people in the field actually do, so it's the most authentic experience you can get. The fishing on Cape Cod for sandbar sharks from the beach usually happens at night. So for us, working at night is always a challenge because there's no light and a lot of the things that we do require eyesight and uh, dexterity. The basic idea is for us to gain a better understanding of how sandbar sharks are affected by land-based shark fishing. It's important to know how many of those sharks survive after release in order to properly manage the species. Partnering with recreational fishermen and commercial fishermen is a really big part of our program and uh, a good way to learn about the animals and also teach them about ways that they can improve their fishing practices to maximize the survival of the fish, which is a benefit for everyone, the fishermen and the resource. The ultimate goal of this work is to ascertain how we can reduce collateral fishing impacts. The Anderson Cabot Center for Ocean Life at the New England Aquarium is really a hub and a beacon for ocean conservation here in Boston and the surrounding areas. Even our work here in the New England region actually does have global impact. We're studying very applied questions and, and are going to help manage and conserve marine resources for decades and, and centuries to come. <laughs>